Yeah, yeah we can. Um, we can hang out and definitely delay a minute or two until people show mm -hmm. up. Um, yeah. Do they know they're coming here instead of the stage chat? Um, not sure. Let me go on stage chat and let them know. Yeah, we can post in the stage chat that it's happening over here. I think Ron already is. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Maybe it'll just be us today. <laughs> <laughs> They'll get used to it eventually. Uh, ah, my uh, voice is raspy. <laughs> no, your voice is fine, Mitch. Don't worry about it. Oh, hey, <laughs> <laughs> Ocean. Like a bit. <laughs> hey, What's Ocean. Up, Ron? How's yeah. it going, man? Yeah. I guess, uh, Product wanted to um, do that uh, that themselves. They didn't want to bounty that out. I thought that would have been an easy bounty for them to offload off their plate, but I guess they wanted to handle that one ocean. Cool. Yeah, sounds good to me. And they they were firing on all cylinders today. The contributors that were hitting the bounties before you even had them posted. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It's uh, hard to keep up with right now. It's great. Yeah. Um, one of the things that uh, us and Ops have started to talk um, about okay. and get set up for too, maybe to be helpful with you, Ocean, is we're going to have everyone in Ops be able to get set up and uh, run uh, the web environment and live locally so we have troubleshooting steps kind of documented as well and can help um, usher new people in so it doesn't have to all lie on your shoulders and Adam's shoulders. I love it. That's awesome. Um, we may have some suggestions for documentation updates and stuff like that. Maybe there's a, a later conversation we can have about how ops could successfully help um, push PRs up for some of the stuffs in the docs and not code, but um, docs and stuff to be more helpful too. Yeah, there's a lot of documentation improvements that can be made. Um, so I think we would very much welcome con contributions from everyone there. Um, and yeah, I mean, I think uh, there's a docs repo too. Um, I don't know if you've seen that before, but I'm going to do some, <laughs> have a plan to do some work in that repo also. Yeah, we did see that. Never was brought that up to my attention. Looks like it hasn't been touched in four months. Um, if that's something that you, would feel more comfortable delegating some of those updates out that would free up some of your time happy to collab and and get that from our team cool yeah i think um well it might be a little bit premature but i think eventually what i want to do is basically have like a contributor contributor guidelines that are in there um that help them to Use the onboarding flow. Like if they find us on Gitcoin, which is where most people are finding us, like you know, uh, basically just a way of directing them to our Discord, a way of explaining to them, you know, how our bounties get posted, how they get paid out, all that stuff. So um, that's kind of the first step, I think. But we can certainly add more like things in there that are FAQs around maybe like how do I ask product a question or um, you know how do I whatever. But um, yeah, I think that would be a good place for, for us to aggregate all that stuff. Totally, yeah. However we can help. Yeah, and don't want to put the cart before the horse, but I'm definitely interested in updating our docs and making it easier for you and other people, too. We could probably kick Lo-Fi Girl. I'm not sure if... How do we get GK? Do you know how to get rid of her here? Awesome. Thank you. Um, yeah. Take it away, Lich. <laughs> I think it's just us for this week, and people will just start to get used to the unsolved user problems to be happening in 
other general or any of the all access channels. But yeah, yeah, everybody. Um, so we are trying to, the team and I are just trying to look for a different order or a different flow on how to go through the unsolved user problems so that it would be more efficient and more, di- uh, it could be digested more easily by um, the community. So um, I think everybody is familiar with the UP right now. So I think it's safe to just dive in into the triage tracking sheet. So as always, um, we have been adding at the bottom and building the new items that has been added from last week. Um, So the first here that we have is the the no trade status history after swapping um, Bitcoin to Rune. I think um, this has been um, talked about and I think the user was in within the window that floor chain was went down and might have been in a bad situation where um, the user also fees just get up everything there right there. Um, but we can also check back since floor chain is up. So maybe we could dig deeper into that thread for this one. Um, for the next one, I think this is for the beta dot shapeshift for the ERC20 and LTC trades. Um, so this brings up an error regarding gas incorrectly. So I think I'll ask for Fox's help for this on any update. Yeah, that's sitting on the uh, or in the backlog right now on the centralized bug board, um, which is starting to build up a little bit. Unfortunately, um, as you guys, I believe now we only have the one gorilla left, Eric, and he's actually done at the end of the month. So I've started chatting with Adam about how we want to handle these centralized bugs uh, going into the new year um, with only a very uh, select few people still having access to our back end, the centralized back end systems. Um, I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about in other meetings, just the importance, both from uh, a bug perspective, but also just a product perspective of uh, as soon as we can get more features into V2, um, that kind of alleviates the need to handle some of these issues, um, depending on the issue. Um, but yeah, that definitely <laughs> something we can chat about a little bit more today if you guys wanted to, um, but we're probably going to have to figure out how we want to handle centralized bugs in the new year. Yeah, that's a good question. Um, uh, maybe that's one Ocean has thoughts on at the foundation on if we wanted to, how we were going to give access to people, if we wanted to give access for people for centralized, if when we find bugs in the centralized code base, if that just accelerates us finding solutions inside app.shapeshift instead and kind of deprecating it um, as it falls apart. Um, interested in your thoughts, maybe. Uh, um, Diggy, you might have some thoughts too. Yeah, there's a, a few things that are kind of complicating everything at the moment. One of which is the foundation is not an actual thing yet, um, and that's very behind the original schedule. Um, so we originally had talked about potentially high, having contracting help to assist in centralized uh, ship ship issues. Um, but currently we you know, haven't been able to do any of that because we just don't have an entity um, or funding or anything like that at the moment. Um, so I think it's it's still a kind of an open good question uh, that we should, should figure out. Um, I do know that Josh had talked about trying to retain one of the guerrilla uh, engineers for a longer time period. I don't know where that left off, but... Um, Maybe something I can follow up with him on when he gets back. I think he's back next week. Yeah, um, and it's also uh, dependent on you know the severity of the ticket. I know the we'll talk about. It, I'm sure in a little bit the the ripple issue something on Keep Key. I know Kevin just sent out a, a PR on for centralized. To hopefully get that fixed too. So we definitely still do have 
some engineers who uh, have access to it. And honestly, the engineers who still do have access to it are some of our most highly qualified and talented individuals. Um, so that's also a, a possibility too. It's just if we ever think that a certain bug or, or need uh, outweighs, you know, work on V2 and work on the other things that they're working on. Um, but I do know, at least with like gorillas, assuming it's not you know, if we keep the same gorilla, Eric, fantastic. Um, but if we bring in on any new talent for centralized shape shift, I do know that is a quite a steep learning curve um, for some of these more intricate issues. And not a lot of it carries over to V2. So if we do have new people who are looking to learn, I almost would rather have them learn on V2. Um, but all things are up for discussion. I don't think we had plans to onboard anyone net new for it specifically. Um, I think the idea was hopefully to get someone with existing context into the code base. Um, but yeah, and I think that you made a fair point, right? Which is if these things become operational issues that are deemed to be a priority over V2, like the Ripple thing, then um, it seems like we do have at least a path to getting them fixed at the moment. So I guess for this specific one, uh, are we comfortable leaving this ERC-20 to, to Litecoin trade in the backlog? Um, I think it's only been reported maybe once or twice and doesn't see. I mean, I'm sure it's affecting multiple users. I'm not sure how many users are trading ERC-20 to Litecoin. I think that this is something that um, will be fixed in app eventually. We don't have a fix pending right now that we can direct people to, but we'll have a troubleshooting step pending Thor chain being an app not shapeshift.com. And exactly. I guess that also in also assumes that Litecoin is an app dot shapeshift.com as well. So maybe that is too far out for us to assume that that's gonna fix this. But um yeah, I don't I think don't know. so. We we've we've talked about doing UTXO coins in V2 and we talked about Thor chain. Both things are on the roadmap um, and should be happening, I'd say on the sooner side of later, you know, it's not being worked on currently. So I'm not saying weeks or anything, but probably months. Um, we should have, yeah, all UTX co U UTXO coins and Thorchain ideally. Yeah. Do we have an idea of how many tickets we have open for this in Zendesk? I guess would be the only thing that would make me feel to prioritize this is if we were getting destroyed by angry users about it. I don't know. Do we have CJ in here from support? It looks like any other uh, supports uh, able to comment on this. Looks like CJ might be server muted. Um, do we maybe do? he had a hot mic previously. We can uh -huh. unmute him if you want to. Yeah, give him yeah, a try. But... Fox Reigns here as well, I think, from support, maybe. Have the ability to do what okay. we would need to do. Yeah. Hey CJ, are you able to comment on uh, this LTC to ERC twenty bug? All right, no worries. We can we can move on. We can reach out to uh, Megan or or someone else from support um, if need be. Sweet, I hope we didn't accidentally unhot my Kim and anything if he had mic issues, but hopefully things will be okay. Sounds like things are okay. Um, where are we at, Lidge? Um, for so the next one is for the Kent input values under one. So I think we had this before uh, for the currency related for the, e the European countries that interchange the commas and decimals for their uh, currencies. So for this one, it's just when the user is typing below uh, one, like they type zero and the comma and five, like it doesn't register. So I think uh, on the thread, uh, never was has tagged Beard as well, that it, I think he has provided um, on the codes and how to fix it, and we have uh, and we have decided maybe that it, this could be a good bounty for the you know, for the community. Oh, fun! I love when bounties pop up. 
<laughs> and I'm not sure if. Uh, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to ask Ocean, did this one um, get pushed to a PR yet? I know that there was some work being done on it, but I wasn't sure if uh, it was completed or if that was something that still needed something done. So it looked like there's, I'm trying to understand if there's two issues here. Um, I'm just reading the, the name of the issue. Um, and sorry, I didn't catch all of it, but the, the bounty that we uh, did get completed and did get merged in today was for the formatting. Um, but it sounds like this one's related to also the input, um, potentially. Just looking at the, uh, back on the triage tracker, maybe I read that wrong, but I thought that it said something about inputting a value less than one. Yeah, it might be one that we can confirm after this one gets pushed to prod that maybe it solves it. But the, the issue is because of the commas and the periods, you're not able to do any sort of decimal placements. Um, so it might be that this, when this gets, um, has this been pushed to prod already or is this still waiting to be um, pushed? But I think that we probably need to do some testing to confirm and it might still exist that we need to do a less than one bug fix, but um, that was my okay. reading of it. Got it. So, um, I yeah, did... it was merged development, not to production. This is the correct bounty, right? I did open the link for the bounty on that tracker as well. And this one that came up, the currency input formatting error for a certain localization with common period. That's the correct one. And you can also, if you do view on GitHub, you should be able to see the issue and the, the pull request that was linked. Um, I think that got merged to today. Um, so if you scroll down a little bit here, actually on the, sorry, on the right-hand side, if you scroll up just a teeny bit more. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Linked pull request. So you can see that guy um, was merged in. Yeah, if you click on that link, fix all input works. Perfect. Uh, so that got merged 23 hours ago um, to develop. So um, I'm not sure what the, the plan is right now for cutting the next release, but uh, it should be should be resolved in the next release. Perfect. That be see that a lot of contributors are just grabbing all the bounties even before you we could announce it in our channels. <laughs> So it's a good point to bring up, Lich. Like, obviously, we love talking about this stuff with the community during this meeting. Um, but this meeting is not the only place to get this. As we talk about every week, there is uh, the engineering standup every morning at 10 a.m. Mountain. And you can always you check out these sites uh, on your own, um, Gitcoin and, or uh, the, the Git page. And uh, I think there's one other place we post them, the bounties. So if these bounties are being snapped up that quickly, then it seems to me as a contributor that the best way is to find a GitHub issue and make a bounty out of it myself. I mean, I, I don't see any other way to get a bounty before someone else snatches it. I think this is a temporary such, um, bottleneck we'll have here now. Um, we definitely um, go through a pendulum swing of um, feeling really great about everything and then having a, the whole world get destroyed um, in front of our very faces um, and needing to fix everything. So I would imagine because it's a, such a young um, process for us right now and we're still developing it and it's kind of all living through Ocean when he has the free time to create bounties, um, this will be a situation hopefully that we'll, um, we'll be able to scale up pretty quickly. So I'll just add a, a little bit to that, which is, um, yeah, mm -hmm. I, I do imagine that we will be scaling the number of bounties that we're creating as everyone gets used to creating issues that are um, in a format that's easy to be bountied and it you know becomes a lot smoother process. Um, so it, that is absolutely true. Um, but Seth, to your point, like, you know, we as uh, we don't need to guard, I guess, the issues in any way, shape, or form. There's lots of work to be done. If there's something that you see that's broken that you're passionate about, um, you know, I I would encourage you to just go go fix it. Um, we'll certainly get a bounty on it or pay you retroactively for the time. Um, you know, there. I don't think we want to be the arbiters of everything that that happens, and I think that um, is one of the reasons we're a DAO, right? Is because we 
can move a lot faster uh, if we don't have like a centralized authority. Plus one to that, Ocean. Thanks for saying that. Yeah, that's true. The the un the unofficial bounty approach, I think, can make up for anything that isn't caught with other approaches. Absolutely. That's definitely something we'll have to shake off our old centralized habits here to be a little more um, open to the idea that not everything has to be funneled through what we're tracking. Um, but I, I think we, we hope to still have kind of guardrails up here too as well to point people in the right direction so we don't leave everything up to just being found out in the wild too. I think maybe there's a, a happy balance between the two. Yeah, totally agree. I mean, I think what I'm just trying to say, if it's broke, feel free to fix it. We'll, continue, we'll make sure it works out for you. <laughs> yeah, I 100% support that as well. Back to you, Lich. Back to yeah. you, Lich. <laughs> that was my cue. Um, so that was the four new items that was added last week. So the next one, it's actually from our resolved sheet and we were just trying out um, different um, reports and we found out that this hasn't been um, resolved yet. So um, we just transferred it there and Sarah and I checked it out and we could both recreate that we can connect and trust wallet via wallet connect to the Fox farming page. So um, we also confirmed that there is still a GitHub bug board ticket. And yeah, and we, we were wondering if this could be bounty out as well. And since Jess is here, he might be familiar with this external page in Fox Farming. Any thoughts from Ocean or maybe Seth? Is this doable or something? Yeah, when we created this ticket, I tagged Ocean, and I'm trying to pull it up because there was a reason why it wasn't a great first bounty. I think just the back end mm -hmm. of uh, the Fox Farm page, while open source, is still a little convoluted and confusing. Um, sorry, I'm trying to pull it up. What's the issue number? It's connecting uh, Trust Wallet via Wallet Connect on the Fox farm can you, page. Can you click into it? Yeah. Oh, it's six, yeah. Um, so click the name again one more time. And we'll open it a new page and show you everything full screen. Perfect. Roll down a little and we'll see what the comments were. Um, he might have not, I don't think Ocean responded. And here we might have uh, just talked about it in the stand-up. Um, if you recall Ocean, yeah, have at it. Uh, no, I don't remember why we haven't bound this one. It could just be a, a, you know, again, time bottleneck, but, um, yeah, I mean, Seth, if you have any interest in this one, think it's something you can tackle. I mean, I don't have a clear way to resolve this in my head, so I've never... Uh, done this kind of blockchain programming before. So if I were to take it on, I would definitely need some training on that. Okay. Um, let's take that offline, I guess, and just we can get a, a bounty on this one probably. Uh, I'll, I'll take a look at it. I'll remind myself to I'll make my note to, to take a look at this one again. Um. Also, an additional bit of context here, we have also had users reach out saying that not only is it the Trust Wallet that is affected by this, but also Garda Wallet um, is unable to connect via Wallet Connect, which makes me um, question if maybe it's the Wallet Connect modal itself and if anyone is able to connect or if there's a, a bevy of wallets that might be affected beyond just Trust. Awesome. Um, if you don't mind just commenting, I didn't catch the name of that first wallet you said, but if you can just comment on the issue in GitHub, we can make sure to roll it all into the same scope. Totally. And if we can do it with a bounty, great. Um, if it's proving to be more trouble you know, than it's worth, um, we, I think we should definitely put a time box on it because one of, I mean, long-term, we definitely 
that Fox Farm page will hopefully get absorbed into V2 and even longer term page or even long term. Um, obviously, the farming, uh, unless, depending on what the Dow decides, will will be renewed or, or potentially not be renewed. Sounds good. All right. Um, I think we this time we could like, look back on the outstanding issues that we have. Um, I bolded some. So on top is the unable to broadcast SRP. So yeah, we have been working with Kevin and I think we could now send XRPs just um, not being able to see the updated balance and the transaction history. So I think um, unpairing and repairing the keep cube does the trick, but um, in sending, yeah, it's, uh, there are no issues anymore. Um, I feel comfortable excellent. with that. I feel with those troubleshooting steps of unpair and repair mm -hmm. that we could provide that to support for anyone who's having this issue. Um, and potentially move market is resolved now. Yeah, and Kevin can move into more happy stuff. <laughs> right, next one I have here is the UI bug and fox farming. So I think we're just waiting for this to be um, released. I think this is the overlapping of the icons on the banner. I oh, yeah. I believe also, Zach got yeah. that released or, uh, today. Yep. That was my first bounty. Congrats again on that, Seth. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I want to give some Fox props to Seth for that. He's our guinea pig on all these uh, bounties and and inviting more community members to contribute to our community. Um, yeah. Seth, did that get merged all the way to prod or is that still uh, need to be merged? Uh, I know the PR was accepted, but. Yeah, it did not make it to prod. Um, I would need to sync with Ocean to see what we, what the process actually is on that repo. Um, I'm guessing it's probably Git flow as well. Um, so. Let me uh, ping conscience and see what uh, what what's up there, and then we can get that uh, released. Hell oh, yeah! That's right. I can't wait to go back to Fox Farm and scroll on that page, so I can tell <laughs> people, "Hey, I did that." <laughs> Bragging rights. Yeah. Yeah. You guys make things easier for me. I make things easier for everyone who comes after me. That's the deal, right? <laughs> All right. Um, so we won't have any wasted time. Uh, the next one is for the Portis. Um, I haven't had any updates on this yet, um, but I think we could tag Justin on any updates on their team side. Um, does anybody have any um, issues here that they want to raise or talk about still? So, hmm. Safe to say that we could go to the bug board. Um, check it here. So it's best that we don't jump into each of these cards and discuss everything. So I have talked with Tyler and um, we might want to request if we could, is it possible to add like a new label or category for triage? So it would be easier for us to just filter out all the items that are from triage. Not sure how to do that or who to reach out to for perms or. So, yeah, um, you should be able to, to add a label very easily if you can. I, I certainly have the permissions to do it. I don't. 
know exactly what permissions are, are needed, but um, if you let me know what labels you'd like, I could do it for you, um, or I can guide you through it and you can see if you're able to. Yeah, if um, if anything, Ocean, I'll look at it and save you the trouble of having to get involved. I'll look at just adding like a triage little uh, tag when I get a second. Cool. Thank you. Um, one thing that we eventually probably will want to do, which is probably I'm the only one that would care about this, but maybe others are as insane as I am. Um, across the repos, what happens is that the if you don't synchronize the labels, they're like all different colors and it becomes hard to see on a board. Um, so eventually we may want to go through and make all the labels that say Bounty, for example, the same color across all the repos. Oh, speaking of uh, matching stuff, I noticed that the contributing.md file for web has a lot less information than it does in lib. And I'm wondering if we want to sort of uh, standardize those or, I don't know, maybe make it more modular so that the information that's the same is more easily shared between them. Yeah, probably outside of the scope for this meeting, but again, that's one of those things that like, we, I think we would welcome PRs on any improvements to any of the documentation from just about anyone. Um, so, you know, I think we can all work together on improving that stuff. And I wouldn't ask for permission. I would just make the changes you think are beneficial and put a PR up and we can, we can review it that way. Oh, okay. Maybe that will be the next thing I work on then. Sweet. Yeah, for the tickets here in the bug board, I think we have covered them um, on the triage sheet as well. So um, I might have to ask if Fox or Ocean, if you have any more um, updates to add on the bug board or the bounties perhaps. <laughs> I think we have discussed, I'm just reviewing them right now. Um, yeah, I think we've discussed everything um, worth discussing on, on here. Anything, Pat, like in code review, those will all already be, be done, uh, for the most part, unless we find any any issues with them. Be deployed, yeah. And then um, yeah, I think we have discussed it. everything that is in the triage and also um, on the bug board as well. Maybe this is a space where anyone uh, wanted to raise some issues that they want, or ooh, others might need to jump off to the next meeting. It's needed. Yeah, it doesn't look like we have much more to make bounties out of mm -hmm. now, but um, this would be a great time if there's anyone out there that's a new contributor that's interested in um, getting set up now. We can help point you the right resources. Not sure that we've got much new contributors out there that are interested um, on the call today. Um, but yeah, sometimes this call won't go the whole length and that's a-okay too. We've definitely got stand-ups every day looking at these and then every other Friday a, a grooming session too. So definitely okay to not stare at this board too long. Yeah, definitely. Nice. I think it's safe to end this on um, this unsolved user problems call. Um, I can update all the threads that are needed and just move all the items to be solved. Yeah, I think that's it. Thank you. I'll all. see you again next week. Thank you. Thanks, Ledge. Thanks, Tyler. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, Thanks, Thanks, Jam. Thank you. Thanks, everyone.